One of the great figures during the Advent season and one whom we meet in today's Gospel at Mass is St. John the Baptist. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and today's Gospel from the seventh chapter of Luke has Jesus talking to the crowds about John, who was a cousin of his. But he was more than a cousin or blood relation. He was also a prophet and God's messenger, who, according to a line from the prophet Malachi that Jesus quotes, was sent to prepare the way for Christ to come. Jesus went on to heap profound praise upon John, saying, I tell you, among those born of women, no one is greater than John. According to Jesus, he's the greatest person who had ever lived up to that time. And yet, here's the clincher, Jesus adds something that is really shocking. He says, yet the least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. What? Who are they? Who are the least in the kingdom of God? You and me. Now, how can that be? Well, very simply, John came before Jesus and died before Jesus. He had not been born again or born from above, born of water and the Spirit. Though he led people in a baptism ritual that showed they repented of their sins, it wasn't the sacrament of baptism by which we share in the death and resurrection of Jesus, by which we are born to the new life of grace. Baptism transforms us, makes us sons and daughters of God the Father, brothers and sisters of Jesus, not just in name, but in reality. Baptism makes us temples of the Holy Spirit. That's not something that can be said about John, who, though the Holy Spirit came upon him in his mother's womb at the visitation, didn't dwell within him the way the Spirit dwells within the baptized. And that's why the least in the kingdom are greater than John.